Welcome to the Music Minute. Start the timer. The Amen break is a drum break. A drum break is usually played during a break in the music. This is not the case in breakcore. Drum breaks are constantly being played behind everything which gives breakcore its unique rhythmic intensity. Rhythm is simple. You have a BPM, beats per minute. 60 BPM is one beat a second. You also have a time signature, 4-4. Four, four. four beats hit every bar or measure. Either term works. A quarter note hits every beat in 4-4. Four, four. An eighth note hits twice a beat. And a sixteenth note four times, etc. There are also triplets, which divide the four beats into three, creating polyrhythm. Polyrhythm is when your time signature, 4-4, four, four, interacts with another time signature, in this case, 3-4. So instead of dividing the bar into four, it divides it into three, creating triplets. Another technique in drum breaks is syncopation. Syncopation stays within the same time signature, 4-4, four, four, but accents the beats we don't normally accent. So instead of the off beats, 1, 2, 3, 4, you can accent the on beats, 1, 2, 3, 4. It feels very different. To move us into our music production process, the first thing you want to do is go over to your drum set and play yourself an amen break. As you can see, highly technical maneuvers on the drum set. Uh, definitely not just downloading samples online, and there's definitely not a link to uh, samples in the description. Alright, this is the time. We're in FL Studio, and this is how you make break core. Two hours later. All right. You want to make sure your BPM matches your drum beat. Normally, it will say it's BPM, but uh, if it doesn't, it doesn't. You know, so you just gotta match it up there. What the f is the BP? Hours. All right, we're going to be using Karate Beat 170. 170 meaning the BPM. You want to match that number with the number right up there at the top of your thing. I don't know how it's 170, though, because it doesn't seem like it fits. But, uh... See, whoever uploaded this actually has problems with their mental health. Because this is actually a 160, 165 BPM. So, uh, yeah, beware of a misleading title like that. Another approach to this, of course, if you were really set on that 170 BPM, you can just go like this, go like this, go like this, and you want to go over to time and then just fit it right in there. Now it's a little higher pitch, but you wanna use this one. But uh, it's really up to you if you wanna keep the same pitch, you can bring down the pitch, you can pitch it on key, you can, you know, you can do whatever you want. See, this is what I like to call a half beat. I've never called it that. If you just play this throughout a whole song, It already got extremely boring by the third time. So this is going to be a great one to either bring in in the bag of the mix or, you know, to to maybe mess around with. You can you can take things and you can kind of, you know, slice them up a bit, kind of mutilate them. You know, you can do have your way with your samples. They're they're yours, you know, they're yours to play with. So you want to cut them up at random spots. Uh, you got this. Right here it says UPS, our fastest ground shipping ever. You know. But what if it, it was said, uh, our fat, our that? fastest and hardest boner, quickest quickest uh, speed for getting a boner. That into that. You know, like what would this sound like? You know, it would be so silly though, right? Like it'd be so silly. Like it's like backwards. What the heck? <laughs> Just want to keep messing around until you have something that you actually, you know, enjoy a bit. E 
even though you had no variation on this tiny little beat, you've created yourself a nice full bar of loops. It's, you know, fun stuff, fun, fun stuff. Okay. Now, you are ready to go on your own. Download the samples, go in your FL Studio, chop them up, enjoy yourself. And when you're ready, click on this video to learn play chord harmony.